Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to try to review this Better Ray Thor from Marvel Legends. I got it like brand new. I don't know where the comic is at. I don't know where that little thing is at. Um, but the thing with this Better Ray Thor is it's a has. It's not a Hasbro, which is a good thing because Hasbro sucks. If Hasbro was to make a Better Ray Thor, I'm positive they will make him like this short, you know, like like up to his chest. This one, I don't know. It's pretty tall. I don't have my ruler on me, but. Better Ray Thor is supposed to be like 6'7", and that's the perfect height for this because Bishop is 6'6", six, six. and you see? Oh man, what the hell? But anyways, oh I'm reviewing Cyclops too, but see? That's the perfect height right there. See, 6'6", six, six, and 6'8", six, 6'7", like something like that, that's how it's supposed to be. That's what I like about Marvel Legends because they, they did their height right, you know? Uh, another thing about this one is I seen it, it, it was like goldish, uh, the new one, I don't know, he has a new costume or something like that, but it, it's identical to this, except it's kind of gold, see where the blue is at, it's supposed to be gold, but I don't know if I should repaint him and make and update him, but, or is he going to go back to his old, uh, suit, you know, I don't know, I'm still like skeptical about if I'm going to transform or if I'm going to like transform him into like his updated version, or keep them like this. Depends. Um, that's what I don't like about them. They keep switching like different suits, you know, like costumes. They keep switching, and I'm like, make up your mind, you know, because once I repaint them, it's gonna be hard to take off the paint and stuff like that. Cause I'm a airbrush them and stuff like that. But I don't know. But onto the figure. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10, in my opinion, because wow, you know, the details, the, the scope on his face, the his arms could have been bigger, yeah, his arms could have been bigger, because on the comic book, he's, like, big, you know, he's massive. Yeah, I think his arms could have been bigger, you know. His chest is okay, his legs are big and massive, and, sh and he's got big, like, big hammer or something like that. Like, his hands are perfect, you know, his his face, those little things on his helmet, it's badass, you know. Good cape and everything, um... He moves and he moves his hands, his biceps, his triceps. Not, I mean, his elbows, his hands open and close. This one does. He kicks and everything. He moves his head. Uh, I like this one. You know, this is a badass figure. You know, I saw this one brand new, unopened at the comic book store for like eight fucking bucks. Like, man, a long time ago. Like about four months ago and I didn't get him you know I'm like damn and I had to get him off eBay for nine dollars and open but it's still in great condition you know no loose joints none of that crap it's just that I, I, I could have like gotten him right there you know opened him brand new for a dollar less because I paid an extra dollar for an open one and then it took like three days to come over and stuff like that but yeah um so I, re I recommend this figure don't trade him you know keep him uh, I think it's stupid if you trade him you know uh, on to Cyclops. There goes the X-Men. I only have three X-Men, you know. I'm waiting for the Marvel Select Wolverine, because I heard that one's better than the Red Hulk edition. Yeah, that, that figure go hard, you know, but I don't know, you know. It looks good, but I don't know. I'm going to get it as soon as it comes out. It's supposed to come out this August, but I don't know. These are my only X-Men good guys, you know. Uh, Cyclops. I've seen this nigga for like 20, 30 bucks on eBay, uh... People are selling him for like a, a a lot of money, like 30 bucks and over. I don't think it's worth that much money. I know a dumbass who bought this off like $24. But see, the thing is, I got mine for like 6 bucks, which is a good deal because, uh, you know, the figure's too skinny. You know, he looks anorexic and he looks like a veget vegetarian or something like that. He has no mass, no muscle definition. It's just like a toothpick, you know. But what I plan on doing is, you know, I, I'm going to take the head off and put him in a different body. I'm not going to tell you which one it is because I don't want to be stealing my ideas. But I'm going to make him better. Um, uh, it's a good scope on his head. That's the thing, you know. Like his hair, it, it's perfect. And like his face, his uh, his beam, whatever, it's perfect. Uh, the face scope is the best Cyclops face scope I have ever seen, period. But just the figure is... is it has, it's too little. I mean, like, what the fuck, fool, you know? But, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, you know, if you were to, like, keep them this, this, this way. It's good because Hasbro's is, like, about an inch smaller. And they don't have the Jim Lee. I mean, this is the best. Cyclops is a badass figure. Cyclops is a badass, period. He led the X-Men, like, for ten years. He, he, you know, I don't know, you know. I, I like Cyclops better than Wolverine. That's my opinion because, you know, 
Cyclops is badass, you know. He's like a, a leader, you know. Like he's a Mr. Fan, you know, Mr. Fantastic and stuff like that. The leaders of of a group, which is badass. But this Cyclops is a perfect height, cause Colossus is a massive Colossus, you know. Just look up Colossus and you see a definition massive, big and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a perfect uh, height for Scott Summers, cause Scott's like six two, and supposedly Colossus is seven five, you know. So that's a perfect match right there, cause you know, badass. All I need is my Marvel, uh, not now. Nah, my Marvel Selects Wolverine, which comes out this August. I'm not going to get the Hasbro one because, I don't know. But I'm going to wait until Select comes out with more X-Men action figures and I'm going to get them. But this is a perfect Cyclops. Don't get the Hasbro, man. Pretty much Hasbro fucked everything up, you know, and the height and shit. Yeah, but overall, Scott is badass, you know. It's my favorite character. Uh, next to Captain America, you know. He... he I, rec I think he's in the range of Captain America, you know, in my opinion, because, I don't know, he's badass. But this is my X-Men, good guys. Well, I'm, I'm fixing to get this different body as soon as it comes in. I'm going to rebuild him and, you know, make him better, and he's going to be massive. I'll, I'll show you how it comes out. Hopefully, I'll be able to purchase the damn thing, like, next week or something like that. And where the hell is Ditzer at? Why he closed his account? What's up? You need to send me my yellow jacket so you can get your slasher. Alright, bye.